President, India takes in persecuted refugees from Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, and they're the bad guys. They're the good guys. They've taken in the refugees. This motion does not censure any of the three Muslim countries for having created this refugee crisis. The UN Minorities Declaration of 1992 states that minorities can be classified as national, ethnic, religious, linguistic, or cultural. This act, the CAA, is just focused on persecuted religious minorities seeking refuge in India. Thus, Muslims coming from the three Muslim countries cannot be considered minorities. Muslims do have a right to become Indian citizens by the 1955 Act, of course. The CAA allows Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, Jains, and Parsis, uh, sorry, Parsis and Sikhs from becoming citizens in six years of living in India. There are persecuted, these are persecuted religious minorities. There are many things wrong with our motion today. I'll just give you four. Rohingyas, Tamils, violence of the police, and the National Register of Citizens. Rohingyas are a religious Muslim minority leaving Myanmar for Bangladesh. When they come to Bangla from Bangladesh to India, they become economic migrants because they're coming from a majority Muslim state. Violence and brutality of the police. Let me inform you that 57 policemen had bullet wounds in a demonstration in Lucknow. Tamils, they are an ethnic minority, not a religious minority. The National Register of Citizens not even mentioned in the CAA Act. Are we saying that India or any other country for that matter is not allowed to document the people living inside its boundaries? The CAA is in front of the Supreme Court and thus should be considered subjudice. The real reason for this motion has come before us, the India-EU summit. Should we not be talking to the Indians rather than criticizing them, playing new colonial politics? I think we must have a debate, but must also have a summit. Thank you.